Hi, I'm Sandy Silva, president of Murals and Faux Painting in Miami. If you're watching this video, you're one of three persons. One, you've probably done a little faux painting and you want to learn more. Or you're a professional and you want to see if there's anything new under the sun. Or most likely you're a beginner and you're asking yourself the question, should I learn faux painting and maybe start my own faux painting business? Well, I've been in business over 14 years. I have a professional faux painting website and I'd like to address three popular questions I get asked all the time on this video. One, what are the best faux painting glazes to use? Two, what are the best types of paint to use? And three, what are the best faux painting tools to use? So I'd like to take this time on this video to answer those questions honestly to the best of my professional ability and just to give you my own two cents in the matter. As far as faux painting glazes goes, there are two types. One is oil-based, the second one are water-based. Now, in the market today, as you can imagine, why the most popular ones used are water-based glazes because of the cleanup and less toxicity. Now, I personally use a paint conditioner called Floetrol for my faux painting glaze. It's a latex paint additive used by painters to eliminate roller marks and can be used to create faux finishing effects. It can be found at most home improvement or local paint stores. And it has less than 45 VOCs too. Now I know there's some message boards out there by professional faux painters saying it's not as durable as other glazes, but I beg to differ. I've been faux painting over 14 years and after literally faux painting hundreds of walls, I've never had any complaints. As a matter of fact, when I was faux painting some clouds of ceiling, I decided to use the customer as a witness. I waited until the glaze was dry for at least an hour, and then I had him watch while I used soap and water and a lot of elbow grease, and you know what? It did not come off. Now on my website, I carry a faux painting sample kit where you get a quart of the flow trough so you can try it out. Now this is not a video that's going to go into how to measure the glazes, how to mix the glazes. You can get that on my DVD faux painting workshop. But the ratio I usually use is six parts to one. Now as far as open time goes, and again, that's a terminology that you can learn off the DVD faux painting workshop, you can increase the open time by adding a little bit of glycerin. My glycerin is used in a lot of cosmetics, it's non-toxic, in fact you can use it in baking too. Since the faux painting techniques and finishes that I teach are of a positive nature, in other words I'm not taking off the glaze, then Floetrol is perfect because I just need about 10-15 minutes of open time. I want the glaze to be dry at least within an hour so that I can come back and do my second part. Now as far as paints go, since you're using a water-based glaze, you want to use water-based paints too. You can get two kinds, acrylic paint that comes in a tube or a bottle, or you can use plain wall paint. Now the paint that I suggest using is green paint. No, and I don't mean green as in green. I think you know what I mean. With everyone being environmentally conscious today, you want to use products that are less toxic. We now offer on our website zero VOC paint, VOC standing for volatile organic compounds, which basically means how toxic the paint is. Now if you're artistically inclined, you can use acrylic paint and make your own colors, but most of us are not. So I've made it a little easier for you. On my website, you can order actual colors. The colors that we have available are the most popular colors used today. Our website now carries paint by EnviroSafe. They've been in business since 1976, offering low toxic products. Purchase our paint sample kit and get six four ounce bottles of their paint to try out. Now, one little extra tip. When choosing your colors, I get asked all the time, how do you know which ones to use? Well, if you order our DVD faux painting kit, combo or ultra faux painting kit, you'll get a free color suggestion and idea ebook that has a lot of different faux painted walls with the colors that we use for each one. Now as far as the faux painting tools goes, well, I've been in business for 14 years and I've only been selling the faux painting kit with the patented faux painting system that I developed 
for four years. So yes, I used other systems, I used other methods, and I cannot faux paint without my own system. The Triple S faux painting system will save you time. It'll save you mess. It's going to save you a lot of up and down on a ladder too. Now you might ask, why do I need to buy the kit? I can just buy some rags and some sponges, some rollers, some brushes, like I've seen other methods use. Well, I'll tell you what, as a professional faux painter, one thing is very clear, and that is time is money. So you might save a little bit, which is not very much, because the kit's only $39.99 at the time of this video. But if you're going to save a little bit of money on the tools, but you're going to spend much more time on the labor, well then you can do the math yourself. It's going to cost you more in the end. Now there's a few things that you should keep in mind when you're considering buying certain faux painting tools. One, how long will they last? The tools with the Triple S faux painting system literally last about five to ten uses. And two, can the tools be used in all the areas of the place that you're going to faux paint? Now there's a lot of nifty gadgets out there. And I agree they can save some time, but you have to ask yourself, if your section is about that big, and your tool is about that big, how do you expect to fit it in there? The other thing is there's a lot of faux painting sites out there teaching you how to do a method, but they do it at eye level. How are you going to do it when you're up 12 to 14 to 18 feet in the air and you cannot put a scaffold in there? The DVD workshop teaches the basic popular faux painting techniques like multicolor washing or blending, sponging, and ragging so you can faux paint brick, old world, clouds, stripes, and even stenciling. Our marble DVD uses the same basic faux painting techniques learned on the DVD workshop and teaches you seven different types of marble. Once you get practice with the tools and techniques, create your own designs. Here are just a few pictures sent to us by first time users. These customers had never faux painted before. And if you're already an artist or professional, you can create works of art like these. So I hope this answered those three basic questions. And I hope you agree that with the Triple S faux painting system, faux painting just got easier.